Hey okay, guys, so welcome back to another episode on Gen 2, and today, we're going to be attempting, or re-attempting, I should say, Code Red at game level, because, as I stated last episode, and if you didn't, um, hear, if you weren't around for that, um, when I was grabbing the screenshot for my Code Red video, I was checking to make sure that the picture was good, and the creatures that you save, uh, in the biopods, ended up killing the Giga. <laughs> So, then, I now have Gamma Code Red done. So, I obviously I'm not supposed to, so I'm like, okay, so we're gonna actually get that done today, instead. I was gonna hold off for a bit, but I think it needs to get done. Yeah, so, yeah, that's awesome. I was gonna wait until I got a bit better creatures, but, oh, no, 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 Carlos, I need on you. Whoa. That could have been bad, because I remember, if you're not on a creature, um, you, uh, your creature will not come in, and it sucks. Alright. Oh yeah, we do much more damage this time, that's good. Alright, so this time I'm going in with um, information that I should have known last time, but I completely forgot. First of all, if Carlos starts to get kind of low health, I can use my tech pistol to heal him up. Second of all, you actually don't want to, or if it's at all possible, you want to try and save the turrets. Because the turrets actually, if uh, at the end phase, or like the uh, uh, phase when you're back in here and you're waiting for the door to open, if you manage to keep the turrets around, uh, the turrets will actually get hacked back to uh, your, uh, to be under your control, and they will now um, try to shoot these guys, these VR creatures. So, if at all possible, you want to try and save the turrets, because in the end, it is actually very helpful. So, yeah, if at all possible, try to save the turrets, but obviously, if, uh, obviously, if they start doing too much damage, or you start taking too much damage from all the creatures around, and you have to break the turrets that way, uh, you don't take much damage. Obviously not the worst problem. It's just they will help you later on if you keep them. But it's not necessary. Just a extra thing I found out. Alright. So, let's keep going through. Obviously we've done this before, so we know the basic rundown. You just have to get down uh, all the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump down, which means he gets some free hits. No. I I cap rope. Cap rope! Oh my gosh, I hate this ca stupid cap roll. Okay, we're gonna take some full damage. No, we're not. Never mind. Haha, -ha, I lied. Because I very much thought I was going to, but I ended up not. Alright, not gonna complain with not taking full damage. Never's a bad thing. Okay. So we're gonna have to deal with the big creatures here in a second. This is gonna be awesome. Alright. So yeah, Carlos, by the way, Carlos is uh, pretty well mutated. 7-7 seven, seven stack. I decided that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Uh, Chrono Mutations is with a 7-7 stack because it was taking a long time. There, I was getting very unlucky with mutations, so... And the 7... Like, I'm not going to be using Carnos forever, so I just thought, yeah, 7-7 seven, seven stack. It's good enough. It'll keep me... Uh, or it'll keep my creatures, or my Carnos, alive. So, yeah. Carlos has a 7-7 seven, seven stack of melee and health mutations. And he also has a... Uh, 94 armor saddle, so pretty good armor saddle, if I do say so myself, which I basically I am. We'll have to find a back door. Yep. Alright, let's chuck a piece of meat. Oh wow, I've actually been, I'm, I'm assuming I get hit by those turrets. Alright. Okay, so I actually have, I'm more prepared this time. I've got stimulants, med brews, energy brews, uh, I've got a ton of water and a ton of food this time. And I'm also running with the knowledge that I can use my uh, tech uh, pistol to heal my Carno if necessary. Because last time, I didn't remember that, and my tech my Carno didn't die, but he got very close to it because I didn't remember that. So this time I do remember, and this time I can actually use that. So that's awesome. Alright. Also, this time I also have a tech bow, which will be coming... I would imagine very handy in certain spots. Ow. 
here for one, probably. Alright, Kurt's down. I am blind, so that's awesome. Love to see that. Okay, is there any other creatures? Not seeing any. Okay. Let's keep moving. Hello. Hey, the stupid body stopped me from hitting it. Yeah, I still got like 300 shots with the uh, tech bow, so we're good for quite some time. Ah, I got hit by the web. Okay, I need to back up and kill these creatures before I head through. Okay, guess we're heading back. Alright. Well, let's deal with this or these creatures before we start heading through because that could be bad. Okay, I'm not... Okay, there is a tech turret. So let's... Yep, let's destroy that real quick. Fan's gonna go and then... Once it stops again, I can run for it. Alright, time to go. Alright, very clear. Ugh, oh, not clear, not clear. Very much not clear. Ow. Oi. Can you not? Okay, uh, we're getting swarmed from both sides. Okay, let's get moving this way. Okay, I would like to take care of this turret. If at all possible. Okay, oh! Then you, like, isn't. No, oh, there's an Arthur. I was not expecting an Arthur. Oh, no! Whoa. That could have been very bad. That could have been very, very bad. Okay, we're gonna head this way. Try not to get hit by the turret. Okay. Alright, we need to get down here. Disable firewalls from the terminal in this room. Let's check some stimulants, because those creatures- or the- Yeah, the Torpor is starting to come in bad. Can I use my tech bow to one-shot them? I cannot. Okay, so, shotgun it is. Alright, and reload. Okay, so we got six down already. I just have to make sure I deal with them before they can corner me or anything. Oh, okay. I proceed to get cornered. Yeah, not the best situation. Okay. Get around this fella. Get a reload in. Oh, hello. I do not think so. Also, I did bring a spare set of flak for the, uh, Giga. I thought it might be good to have some extra armor uh, for that. Uh, hello. Alright. Let's override that. And then let's get back down to Carlos. Alright. So now we have to wait for the door to open, which means we're gonna have to try and survive out here. So, Carlos... Get your game face on, we are gonna have to try and battle our way out of this one. As I said, the turrets, as you can see, are no longer trying to shoot at me. And once the VR creatures start spawning, they will now start targeting the VR creatures. So, pretty nice. Pretty handy. If I do say so myself, which obviously I do. Alright. Uh, is the door gonna start opening? Or, oh, do I need to go right next to it? I need to go, I need to, go to it. Yep, there we go. Yep, and here they come. Yep, see, the turrets are now actually trying to deal with the creatures. It is very handy, and it's going to take out quite a fair few creatures, imagine. Are they coming out of, like, a vent or something? It looks like they're coming out of something, because they're, like, flying out. Okay. Door! Door! <laughs> Alright, time to start spamming the bleed. Start. We need to do that knockback. Okay, we got some Rexes incoming. Okay, this is about to get real tight. Door, open up. Okay, come on, come on. It's really good time to open up door. Really good time to open up. Really good time. Come on, just a bit longer. Just a bit longer. 
All right, we got some more creatures back there, but they appear to be, come on. I can go through the door now, right? Game, come on. Come on, it's right there. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're good. All right. Awesome. Hurry. Free the captive genome from the star oh, yeah, I forgot about this section. This section's a blast. Okay, we need to deal with these VR creatures. So, obviously, we're not going to be able to defend all the biopods. We realistically just need to uh, survive for five minutes and save as many creatures as we can because uh, however many creatures we can actually uh, save will be helping us later against the Giga. So, pretty useful, uh, pretty handy. Definitely want to see about keeping as many around as possible, but obviously it's also not the easiest because, as you can see, they're already doing a crap ton of damage. Like, we've only been in here for almost a minute, and they're already uh, about 50% on some of the pods. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy pulling this, uh, keeping all the pods, but... I'm sure it's easier with more than one person, but, you know, when I'm kind of so low and don't have other people to help, uh, it's kind of hard to keep the biopods from breaking. So... Yeah, but the more creatures you keep alive, the more creatures that'll help you against the Giga. So, it's definitely worthwhile trying to save as many as possible. Because it will help you in the long run. Alright, a Biopod was just destroyed. That doesn't surprise me, but it does kind of suck. Okay, that hurt. Alright, we have some bleed damage coming in, which is not awesome. Ow, can you not? Seriously, okay, we need to start getting on some biopods here. We got some do we got some creatures doing some crazy damn can you stop pooping me? I can't run when you're throwing poop at me. Yeah, we're gonna definitely lose another biopod here. Mm. Really? Really? Okay, alright, let's get this packy. And I'll uh, just keep running. I don't okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this biopod. Dang. Man, this is tough. Like, obviously, you're not, like, meant to keep all of them alive. I mean, I don't think it's physically possible to keep all of these, uh, biopods alive. But, gosh, dang, is it difficult. I mean, I'm, I'm not even halfway through and I've already lost two of them. I'm probably gonna lose another one here because this one's starting to get some, quite a bit of damage in. Come on, there we go. Alright, we got the VR Packy dead. Uh, there's a Chally back here. Chally, Chally, I'm not sure. Is it Chally or Chally or whatever? I don't know. Alright, we got 2 minutes, 20 seconds uh, remaining, and a lot of creatures to kill. Right. Well, we've only lost two biopods so far, so it's honestly not going to be worse. It's not exactly the best, but definitely could be worse. Okay, yeah. Let me hit. Thank you. And Argy's dead. Nice. Uh, this biopod is totally going to get destroyed. No, it isn't because the creatures got mad at me instead of the biopod. Amazing. We love to see that. All right, another minute and forty-five seconds. Okay. All right, we got a cap rope here. We got some creatures on that biopod over to my left. So let's go see if we can take out these guys. Oh no, I went on the other side. No! Okay, I think that biopod's good as dead. Dang, that sucks. Okay. It is what it is. I mean, yeah. I should have thought about the fact. That I, it's basically a maze in here trying to defend the thing, so. Yeah, I should have. Uh, I ex kind of expected that was the kind of thing was going to happen, but it still sucks. Alright, can you. Thank you. Sheesh. Alright, another biopod was destroyed. That sucks. Okay, let's try to defend these two over here. Because the creatures are definitely going to be going for these ones next. Alright, and then we got that one on the left that is totally going to get destroyed as well. Again, totally. Well, I could have seen that one coming, so I'm not surprised. Did not mean to open my inventory. Just wanted to check behind me. Alright, let's keep pushing through. Uh, let's kill this guy. Okay, I do not want to be hitting the bomb, though. Because if I hit the bomb... Uh, I'm gonna get hit by the explosion myself, which is not preferable. Can you literally isn't? Oh my gosh, these I hate chalies, chalies, chalies. I don't know, whatever they are. I really don't like them. They're very frustrating. 
Alright, we just got another 15 seconds, and, like, none of the biopods are actually getting destroyed, so... I think this is a done deal. Alright. So then, next step is going through these doorways. And clearing out those chambers. Uh, which also gives Carlos a bit of time to gain some stam and health. Oh, let's get another level into melee. Yeah, it gives Carlos a bit of time to get some level- or to get some stamina, so that's good. Alright, let's get moving. We need to power this door control, and then we're gonna have a crap ton of creatures coming after us. So, actually probably should have the shotgun on the ready. I think shotgun's definitely gonna be a uh, better uh, choice for dealing with everything. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I should have brought my uh, tech rifle, but I also learned that it's also not the greatest idea because that also uh, does hit, or if a creature is too close, it does also hit me uh, if I use it. So it's kind of an iffy if it's uh, actually worthwhile uh, using in this kind of mission. All right. Okay, Packy's dead. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about grabbing a drink of water until I get back out to the main area because. I'm gonna have to chug some stimulants here in a second anyway, so, well, most likely. So, it'd just be better all around just to wait for the water, uh, for when I'm outside. Alright, as long as I- I was literally just about to say, as long as I don't get pooped, I'm fine, and then I get pooped. Are you kidding? Alright, come on. Okay, chug some of that, chug some stimulants. Okay, I missed. How did I miss? Okay. Alright, if I can just keep running, I should be able to make it out without those creatures coming after me. Nice, okay. Uh, let's get a drink of water, which will also cool me off, which, although it doesn't seem the most handy, it actually is kind of handy because, as you can see, I'm now cold. Why is that useful? Because I can now, uh, if I'm cold, uh, my food starts going down faster, meaning I can actually heal from my uh, prime meat instead of having to constantly use medical brews. So it's actually pretty helpful, uh, to get a bit cold. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Uh, we got some big creatures for this one. We got some beauties, and I think Rexes I saw as well. So this is gonna be an interesting one as well. Okay. Overridden. Alright, let's start dealing with these creatures. Okay. Terry chickens down. I just got pooped, obviously. Why wouldn't I be pooped? Okay, let's get that reload in. Alright, we got the yeah, we got a Rex and a UD. I definitely saw a UD. Yep, there's the UD. Okay, UD's dead. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of creatures here. Okay. Okay. Ah oh, shoot, I've been pooped. That is very bad. Okay. Come on. Chug that. Check some stims. Alright, let's get the sword out. I don't, I'm not expecting, yeah, it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but it's just mainly for the creatures that are extremely fast and are, like, uh, hitting me constantly. Alright, cool. Okay, we got that done. Let's check some med brews and start this. Okay, final phase. Whoa, okay. Alright, Carlos, are you ready? We're gonna have to take on a Giga. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this one. Uh, actually, you know what? Nah, I don't have the time. I was gonna say I'm gonna try to heal Carlos, but I do not think I have the time to do that. So, looks like taking on the experimental Giga it is. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's get our flak on. And did I get the gauntlets on? I did get the gauntlets on, okay. Alright. Carlos, let's do this. We have a Giga to kill. Oh, I should have brought some lesser antidotes. Because I think you can feed that to uh, creatures as well. Alright, Carlos. This is where the fun begins. We got some... We got a tough fight ahead of us. Alright, Carlos, you go on him. I think he's... It looks like he's kind of aggroed onto me, which is kind of annoying. But, yeah, let's just start spamming these shots in. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going down fairly fast, which is good. Very good. Alright. Let's just switch to uh, projectile for now, because why not? 
Actually, you know what? No, I think instant hits better. <laughs> Hello. All right. Yes, we're actually gonna take it down this time. Yes. Let's go, Carlos. You're doing. You're a beast, man. A beast. Who's gonna hit me? Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Boom, and I even got the kill. Let's go. Nice. We actually beat it this time. Let's go. All right. Uh, as per usual, nothing useful. Shoot. Oh, no. Okay. Last time I wasn't riding the creature in this mission, um, it decided that uh, the creature was going to be stuck in the mission uh, area. Which, yeah, it's not the best situation. Uh, but luckily that did not happen this time, so we still have Carlos with us. Well, nice, we actually beat it. I need to turn up the gamma because it is very dark. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, yeah, we finally beat Code Red. Uh, we still have... I think we have a few more hunt missions to do, but I can probably compile all of those into, like, one video. Um, and then we have... Although I have... Although I technically have them counted as done... I still have to do Maywing Pouch and Paris or Roundup, and then, and then we're technically have everything to, uh, or all the missions done to beat Gamma Rockwell, which I'll be honest is a bit more than terrifying. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm definitely not ready. Um, I want to be getting some mutagen uh, to get some mutagen uh, creatures. Uh, probably want to start working on some Rexes fairly soon here. Uh, I would like to- I would like to find some Tech Rexes, but I haven't had much luck in finding any good level Tech Rexes, so I might just have to go with some regular Rexes. But yeah, I need- to, I would like to mutagen the Rexes and whatever else- whatever other creatures I'd be taking into the fight. Which means I'm going to have to be either going into Rockwell's garden to- now, innards to grab a bunch of mutagen. Or, I have to, uh, wait for a mutagel, uh, biome- or the mutagel, uh, planet to spawn so that way I can grab some- a ton of mutagel for crafting a bunch of mutagen. Because I don't know exactly how much it's gonna take to- uh, mutate the Rexes, but I'm sure it's going to take quite a fair amount. Anyway, alright, so we only have a few missions left to do. Hunt missions are pretty easy. Trank missions aren't that hard either. Uh, annoyance, moreover, difficult. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.